everybody and I bring warm greetings in the precious name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is Ryan here again. Welcome to our 39th mnemonic in internal medicine. This time we're unlocking the SOFA score. So just a quick SOFA joke for you. Uh, the salesman at the furniture store told me that this SOFA will seat five people without any problems. I said, where on earth am I going to find five people without any problems? <laughs> <laughs> and just a quick scripture to, to encourage you this morning. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that in all things and at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Amen. Okay, so let's talk about the SOFA score. The SOFA score was developed in an attempt to provide a means of quantitatively and objectively describing the degree of organ failure over time in individual patients and among groups of patients with sepsis. Now, initially termed the sepsis-related organ failure assessment score, it was renamed the sequential, sequential organ failure assessment SOFA score um, following recognition that it can be equally applied to non-septic as well as septic patients. Now, in this composite score, six systems are studied, looking at respiration, coagulation, the liver, cardiovascular, central nervous system, and renal each in turn. Now, a score of zero is given for, so zero here, for normal function, uh, through to four for the most uh, abnormal function. And the worst values at each day are recorded. Now, individual organ function can thus be assessed and monitored over time, as well as an overall global score calculated. Now, a high total SOFA score and a high delta SOFA. So the delta SOFA score is actually the total of maximum SOFA score minus the admission total SOFA score has been shown to be related to a worse outcome and a total score has been shown to be increased over time in non-survivors versus survivors. Let's break this down, guys. Think about the six different um, systems which we are assessing. Okay, and these are divided into certain scores. We said zero is the most normal and four the most abnormal, and we chart this on a daily basis. Okay, so looking at respiration, we look at the PaO2 to FiO2 ratio, otherwise called the PF ratio, which is the... Uh, arterial partial pressure of oxygen that you get in the blood gas divided by the fraction of inspired oxygen and we see if the value is 400 then you get a score of zero and it gets as it gets progressively lesser up to a score of less than 100 then you know you get a score of four and we said in our berlin criteria uh, that the severity of the ARDS also one of the parameters we use in determining that is the pf ratio Okay, the next thing is coagulation, where you look at the number of platelets times 10 to the 3 per cubic mole. Okay, and if the score is 150 or more, uh, if the platelet number is 150 or more, you score 0. And it gets progressively uh, lesser and lesser until a score of 4 is given to a platelet count of less than 20. In terms of assessing synthetic function of the liver, we can look at the bilirubin. Okay, and this is in millimol per liter. So if you score 20 or less, then you get a score of 0. And as you get progressive increments up to a total a bilirubin level of above 204, you can score four for that. In terms of your cardiovascular assessment, you just ask yourself, is the patient hypotensive? And to this end, we look at the mean arterial pressure. Is it below 65, right? If there's no hypotension, you don't score anything. But if you do have hypotension and you have to use progressively increasing concentrations of inotropes to keep the map above 65, then that's uh, subclassified into uh, one, two, three, and four, right? And there we speak about the use of dobutamine, epinephrine, and so forth. In terms of your central nervous system assessment, we look at the Glasgow Coma Scale, the GCS. And if the score is 15, you will score 0. But if the score gets uh, progressively lesser, uh, as depicted, to a score of less than 6, then you will get a SOFA of 4 for that. Uh, in terms of renal assessment, we look at the creatinine concentration in millimole per liter. If it's below 110, you score 0. Up until if the score is above 440, then you will score 4 on the SOFA. We can also use urine output as well under the renal criteria. So essentially, if the urine output is normal, you score 0. And scores 1 and 2, essentially, there's no parameter for urine output. But if you have urine output of 500 mls per day or less, that's score 3. And if it's 200 mls per day or less, you score uh, 4. All right. So, guys, there you have it, the SOFA score. I'm so sorry that my board is a bit dirty and this is a bit of a busy one. But I hope that you have been uh, blessed and edified through this one. God bless you.